can I take you to the story many years ago? There was a baby lion that was captured and was growing among the sheep. Baby lion has lost his identity to the environment that he found itself. So every time the flock went to water in the stream and they sat the lion on the other side, all the sheep would take to their heads, including the sheep lion. He couldn't, he has lost his identity to the environment. Believers have lost their supernatural identity to the natural environment where they live. So we talk the same thing, so we suffer the same way. We give this the same approach and we suffer the same humiliation. It's time to recover our identity. So one day they went to the streams and as they were taking water, the lion looked at herself in the on the face of the water. Ah, uh, look at the other sheep. I'm not like that one. I'm like that thing we are running away from. So the next time a, a lion appeared on the other side, he just crossed over. And they wipe their tears and welcome back home. Amen. Amen. It is important to recover your redemptive identity. It's important to recover your redemptive identity. It's important we recover our redemptive identity. I made a striking discovery very early in life. It has preserved my life till now. It was Psalm 82, verse 5 to 7. They know not how they do. We do understand the work on in darkness. But the foundation of the earth are out of course. I've said ye are God. Sir, I did a seminar on it. My God. I saw death under arrest. I saw death in captivity. I saw Jesus took the key from him. My God. I've died several times, but not buried. Hallelujah. Several times. My God, you need to discover your identity in Christ. Church is not a club. It's a family of God. <laughs> Empowered family of God. Of men and women, boys and girls. In command of the affairs of life. In the precious name of Jesus, the harassment of death in your family is declared over today. No one here shall bury any of their children. Yeah. You shall not bury any of your grandchildren. Yeah. No one dies young in your family. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. This is very important. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said to Moses one day, Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, See, I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh. That changed the course of Moses' life. And Aaron, thy brother, shall be thy prophet. What? Make me a God. He stood before Pharaoh. Pharaoh! Stop! He has discovered himself. God has introduced him to himself. He became unstoppable. In chapter 34 of Deuteronomy verse 10, no prophet arose in Israel like unto Moses. <laughs> With signs and wonders of his, the strangest order. Why? See, I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh. But that's not strange. Jesus came down and said, As my father has sent me, so have I sent you. What? How did he come? The Lord shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. And you call his name Emmanuel. So, <laughs> we are sent as a sign to our world. What does that connote? They marveled at him. What manner of man is this? And as the Father sent me, so send I you. So the world must marvel at you and me. What manner of man is this? What manner of boy is this? What manner of girl is this? What manner of woman is this? As the Father sent me, John 17, 18, even so send I you. Isaiah 7, verse, verse 14, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. You call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel, his name shall be called Jesus. 
So we are a sign to our world. We are to be wondered at. Come on now. So what God said to Moses is not strange. It is something God said to us. And Jesus said, we shall say, me, I say my father. And as the father sent him, so as he sent us. So when you see us, you have seen the father. Hallelujah. Come on now. Glory. When they see you are me, they have seen the father. Yes, 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 yes. Satan, shut up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Don't let this thing be too high for you. They are cheap enough for anybody to grab. The child of a goat is a goat. The child of a ram is a ram. The child of a cow is a cow. The child of a human being is a human being. What should the child of God be? Is that difficult? It's not an equation. It's not even addition. It's not subtraction. It's a straight line statement. Like begets like. There is no go-to way about it. We need to grab this or we lose control of the affairs of life. Can you imagine Jesus being threatened by witches and wizards? No, sir. The days of harassment are over in your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's a brand new day for you. This week shall be a week of wonders in your life. This month shall be a month of open doors in your life. You believe that? Let me hear your loud and say, Amen.